Joining us now with more insight on the discussions at COP28 is Paul Bledsoe. He's a lecturer at American University's Center for Environmental Policy and was a White House climate advisor under former President Bill Clinton. Always great to see you, Paul. Hi, Elaine. Thank you. Well, first, I want to get your reaction to uh, what transpired. Do you think this deal is the, be quote, beginning of the end of the fossil fuel era? era? And are you surprised at all that this deal came together, considering last year's negotia negotiations went into triple over time? I do think it's important that that language on fossil fuels was included. But ironically, I don't think that's the most important thing that happened at this COP. I think the agreement by 50 major oil and gas giants, including Saudi Arabia's Aramco, Exxon, and others, to begin dramatically phasing out methane was the most important agreement at this COP. But it's not quite enough because it's voluntary. I and many leading experts, including Barbados Prime Minister Mia Motley, uh, the Paris Agreement architect Laurence Tubiana, Derwood Zelke, a uh, leading expert on climate pollutants, are calling for a mandatory global methane treaty in the next few years. The reason that will be so important is new science just last week from the University of Exeter and Tim Lenton and 200 other scientists finds that we're much closer to climate change tipping points and runaway warming than we thought. Warming has already uh, heated the Earth by about 1.2 degrees Celsius. We now find that we may get these tipping points as low as 1.5 degrees. So mitigating fossil fuels is critical. So is mitigating methane. So is the transitioning word, which uh, people are bringing up, transitioning away, is that strong enough? And to the point you just made, is there some sort of mechanism to, to get that uh, on the table in the next year or two? I believe that the Paris Agreement has to move toward some mandatory options. We did that with, with HFCs, hydrofluorocarbons, in 2016. Now I believe we need a mandatory methane treaty. We're not going to get mandatory agreements immediately on fossil fuels. That will take much, much longer. So we have to focus on those areas where we can get mandatory agreement, starting with the fossil fuel industry, methane from coal mines, oil, and gas. I think that's the biggest step we can take to mitigate near-term temperatures. Meanwhile, there's good news here. Uh, major nations agree to triple renewable energy, which is absolutely crucial. But we've got to begin cutting the methane and the carbon dioxide from coal, oil, and gas. All right, Paul Bledsoe, um, let's talk more. Great to see you again, and uh, have a great night. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.